How to catch a leprechaun. to catch a leprechaun, St. Patrick's Day story, written by Adam Wallace, illustrated by Andy Elkerton, read by Teacher Mike. <laughs> the night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near, I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. There's a small man in the corner. He's wearing a green hat and a green jacket. That's a leprechaun. Leprechauns like to get up to mischief. That means they like to do lots of naughty things. I'll pull out your laces. <laughs> Put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. That naughty little leprechaun. He's stolen that boy's laces. His shoes will now fall off. And that girl has lots of glitter in her hair. She looks a bit grumpy about it. Although the gold coins are a nice thing to find, leprechauns have lots of gold. That's why people like to try and catch a leprechaun so they can get the big pot of gold. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. That girl had tried to catch the leprechaun with a rope, but the leprechaun is too smart and it messed up her bathroom. The leprechaun turned on the bathtub taps and the water is overflowing. It threw the toilet paper around the bathroom and it painted the toilet with some horrible green slime. Ugh. <laughs> House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. Leprechauns are very small. So someone had tried to catch the leprechaun with a mouse trap. But the leprechaun is too clever. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoe box on a stick. I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Ha ha ha, another house. I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Mm. The naughty leprechaun has thrown all the shoes into the kitchen sink and filled it with soap. Well, I guess at least it will clean the shoes. And someone had tried to catch the leprechaun with a nutcracker. But the leprechaun is too quick. Now you're talking! Look at this! It's dandelion tea! But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. <laughs> that boy had tried to catch the leprechaun in a big net. And he had laid out a very delicious dandelion tea with some cakes. And some biscuits. But the leprechaun is too fast and too clever. It easily got away. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever. But I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. That boy had tried to catch the leprechaun with an iron cage. But... The boy had got trapped in his own trap. 
He's surrounded by four crocodiles and a dinosaur. The leprechaun isn't scared of those stuffed toys. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting fancy, but I'll easily escape with twinkled toes. It's a fancy, pansy, dancy. Whoa, that girl is shooting unicorns at the leprechaun. Oh my God, she shot one of the unicorns so hard that it's stuck into the wall. Run, Leprechaun! This one looks dangerous! How many unicorns are there in her room? Can you count them? There are ten unicorns! There's one stuck in the wall, there's one hanging on the lamp. There's one sitting on the bed. There's one ready to be fired at the leprechaun. And there are six lying on the floor. They look like they've already been fired at the leprechaun. She has been trying very hard to shoot the leprechaun. The wall has got holes from all the horns of the unicorns. But the leprechaun still hasn't been caught. He's too quick and too clever! Ha ha ha! It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design! Too bad! This little leprechaun is going to be just fine! The girl and her father have made a very complex trap. The girl has drawn an angry cat to scare the little mouse, so that it runs faster and it turns the wheel, which spins another wheel with shoes on it. It looks like they are trying to knock out the leprechaun with a bowling ball. This looks like a very smart trap. Bonk! Oh no! Looks like Dad is the one who got injured, not the leprechaun. Look at the books on the floor. Engineering for beginners? How to make stuff? Hmm, I guess they're still learning how to make machines to catch a leprechaun, because the leprechaun easily got away. Wow, your entire house is one big trap. From the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed. But soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. Someone in this house is very clever. They have set up traps all around the house. What's in the windows on the ground floor? Let's have a look. That's very odd. There's a fin in the first window on the left on the ground floor. What could it be? It must be something scary. It must be a shark! The shark would eat the leprechaun if it catches him. Ah! The next one has a big weight hanging from the ceiling. I guess that is meant to drop down onto the leprechaun. On the other side of the house, down at the bottom, there's a big monitor and a computer. That looks like the control room, where someone controls all the traps and watches the leprechaun. Upstairs, in the first room on the left, there's a big laser gun. The next window has a big robot. Someone must be controlling it to catch the leprechaun. There are more traps outside. There seems to be some kind of green laser beams around the house. And over there in the shadows is another robot who has guns for arms. 
Well, I think that sign is a lie. It is not a totally safe place for leprechauns. It's a big trap. Watch out, leprechaun. Oh, the leprechaun be gone 3000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. <laughs> Uh-oh, the leprechaun has destroyed all the traps. The leprechaun is right. The only way anyone is going to catch a leprechaun is if they have lots of luck. So they will need a four-leaf clover, because a four-leaf clover gives you lots of luck. Can you find the leprechaun? He's hiding behind the fence. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible! That's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? You need to be very smart to create a trap to catch a leprechaun. Do you think you could make one? Better luck next year! <laughs>